Today, we are going to talk about one of the healthiest diets ever. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Dr. Sam. This is Dr. Sam's Health. I'm making my first video in 2023, and as promised, I'm returning to health, nutrition, exercise, science, things like that. Last year, I published my book, just in the last days of 2022, The Rational Diet, and it gives me another incentive to return to my diet review series. And today, I would like to talk about one of the arguably, possibly one of the healthiest diets ever, the Mediterranean diet. Prior to talking about anything health-related, I would like to make my regular disclaimers. First of all, I'm a medical doctor, but I do not practice on YouTube. I do not give any kind of medical advice here. And of course, all the opinions, all the things, statements that I make, they do not necessarily represent the opinions of the medical establishment, my college, my university, so my profession. And now we are ready to talk about this wonderful diet. And I do believe that it's one of the healthiest, one of the most beautiful diets ever. We often recommend it to our patients. In general, the medical establishment, the nutritionists, doctors, we always talk about how wonderful this diet is, how it is associated with health outcomes, positive health outcomes, prevention of certain chronic conditions, and so on and so on and so on. I will actually make three videos about this diet. Today, I will talk about the diet in general, I'll explain what it is, because it's not a trivial task, believe it or not. In the next video, I'll talk about the health impact of this diet, and then the final video in this mini-series will be the video about the impact of this diet for weight loss, whether it is good for weight loss or not. And spoiler alert, I do recommend this nutritional style in my book. So what is the Mediterranean diet? And why did I say that it's not a trivial task to define it? This is a diet that is not a typical diet. It's not a diet that some scientists or nutritionists devised or designed to cure certain conditions or to achieve, I don't know, weight loss, certain health outcomes and so on. No, it is a diet that naturally occurred or formed in certain area of the world, the Mediterranean region. And pretty much if we take a look at all the countries in the Mediterranean region that essentially uh, are the source of this wonderful diet, they all will have slightly different cuisine. So we're talking about Greek cuisine, we'll compare it to French, Spanish, uh, Moroccan cuisines, they will all be quite different. But they have something in common and the researchers, scientists, doctors, nutritionists, they believe that the way the nutritional style uh, of these regions is associated with longevity, with positive health outcomes. The problem is that it's very hard to define what exactly this diet is because it is quite different if we go from one country to another. The problem is actually so complex that it took me a while to find a nice operational definition of this diet. Luckily, I found a very nice review article published in the journal called Nutrients in 2015 by Davis and co-authors. What they have done, they have aggregated all the literature data on the Mediterranean diet, nutritional style, and they have combined all the data pieces that they have found in order to find a good operational definition of this diet. So, we'll talk about the food staples that are part of this diet and about its macronutrient composition. Okay, the main ingredients, the main food sources for this diet are vegetables, legumes, nuts, beans. These form the lowest, the bottom layer of the nutritional pyramid and essentially they form the bulk of this diet. This diet includes decent amounts of olive oil that's one of the major staples of this diet and as you can notice they are all plant-based sources of nutrition and because of that a lot of people are calling this diet plant-based which doesn't mean that it's vegetarian or vegan diet because it does include some dairy products it does include some seafood some meats but in rather moderate small quantities so the bulk of this pyramid is vegetables or in general plant-based uh, sources of nutrition. The next level will be fruits that are used uh, as sweets essentially and of course this diet does include certain amounts of meats, rather small moderate amounts and a lot of seafood and just based on the name the Mediterranean diet it is the diet that is common in countries that are 
they have access to the sea, to the Mediterranean Sea, and accordingly, it totally makes sense to get all the uh, seafood that they can get their hand on. So, seafood and different meats are still included into this diet, but in moderation, as well as dairy, and to a certain extent, some alcohol. Actually, every time I think about the Mediterranean cuisine, I think about France, Spain, and I think about beautiful wines that they have. And as a physician, I have to emphasize that alcohol is consumed in moderation, if any. So we're talking about some small quantities of wine, maybe one or two standard drinks per day. Usually we're talking about red wine that comes with some polyphenols, some uh, chemicals, uh, phytonutrients that are actually associated with better cardiovascular outcomes and health in general. And speaking of nutrients, let's talk about the nutritional composition of this diet. On average, this diet yields approximately 2,200 kilocalories per day. 37% uh, of this energy comes from fat. 9% of energy comes from saturated fat, which is well in line with current nutritional recommendations that we have in the United States, in Canada, in Western world in general. 15% of the energy comes from protein, which in my opinion is a little bit on the lower side, but I think it's okay if you don't have any specific dietary goals such as losing weight or uh, building muscle or you're exercising very intensely and 43 percent of this diet comes from carbohydrates but one important remark that i have to make is that we're not talking about simple sugars we're not talking about added sugars refined sugars we're talking about primarily complex carbohydrates whole grains legumes vegetables and so on obviously based on the diet composition and the sources of nutrients we can tell that this diet contains a lot of micronutrients, vitamins, minerals that are uh, very important for our health in general. Uh, also, it has lots of this wonderful chemicals such as polyphenols that are associated with better health outcomes. It has uh, decent amounts of omega-3 fatty acids. And in general, it is a very good, nice, balanced diet. And no wonder that it is associated with longevity and good health outcomes. We'll talk about them in the next video, as promised. Right now, let's talk about what we need to do if we want to follow the Mediterranean nutritional style. The simplest solution is just to pick a country in the Mediterranean region that you like the most and just move there to live, to enjoy wonderful climates, to enjoy the sea, the sun, and the wonderful local cuisine. Obviously, it's easier said than done, and for most of us, we have to replicate it. Uh, it is actually quite easy to replicate wherever you are. I live in Canada. I don't see any problem with replicating the Mediterranean diet. All you have to do is just first remove all the unhealthy things that are common in the Western diet, which are refined sugars, added sugars, everything that is processed or ultra-processed, and pretty much you are already close to the normal balanced diet. Then you make vegetables, legumes, beans, the staple of or the foundation of your nutritional pyramid. And every time you go grocery shopping, you pick whole grain breads. You try to add a variety of fruits and vegetables to your diet. And essentially, you are already there. Whatever you're going to make with these foods likely will fit the umbrella of the Mediterranean diet. In terms of sweets, you just use some fruit. And of course, you have to use olive oil as your main cooking uh, oil. And uh, in terms of alcohol, you can just add a little bit of alcohol, maybe with some cheese uh, into your diet again and again and again, just use it in moderation. In terms of meat, uh, you should uh, consume moderate amounts of meat, give preference to seafood, fish, especially fatty fish that contains a lot of omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin D. And here we go, you are following the Mediterranean diet. And as I said in the very beginning of this video, this diet is very easy to follow. It's a very nice balanced diet. It actually fits the dietary recommendations for North Americans that we have here. And it is associated with wonderful, beneficial health outcomes that we have observed through hundreds of years in this particular region. And there are hundreds if not thousands of research articles that describe these health outcomes. And that is something we're gonna talk about in my next video. Meanwhile, I think it's time for me to wrap up this video and I will recommend checking out my website, drsamshealth.com. I've got all the information there 
in the form of my blog. I've got some tools for you if you want to lose weight or obtain, achieve a better physique. I've got the link there to my book that outlines all the steps you need to take. And uh, of course, we've got some tools for you to use in order to track your weight, track your macros, do some calculations and so on. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. All the very best.